Hey guys, you're watching Interesting and Figures. Last year we did a lot of things out of concrete. We know that it's composed of sand, gravel, cement and water. But what happens if instead of sand we take flour and instead of water we pour milk? Or we can make a motor of noodles, eggs and non-alcoholic champagnes. Today we'll find out from which ingredients the strongest concrete can be made. I'm most interested in what will happen if we add jelly, how gelatin will act on our solution and what will fill our future aspect in such containers. Let's start. So our first batch will be from peas, coca-cola and sugar. We'll make the future motor of our concrete according to the standard principle. One part of cement, four parts of crushed stone, two parts of sand and half of water. So in this bowl we pour one ladle of cement. Instead of crushed stone we pour four ladles of peas. All the world famous chefs will now be perplexed. And two ladles of sugar instead of sand. Now you need to add half a ladle of cola here. And now it remains for our batch to give a shape. So we pour it into a container. And here is the champagne. I've never tested non-alcoholic champagne. How's it? Creme brulee, lemon soda shot like lemonade. Well, instead of sand, we'll take jelly and instead of crushed stone, we'll add instant noodles. What do you think? Is it worth pouring seasoning here? And now our main ingredient. I really like to scoop up the cement with a ladle. It's so nice. Now we add champagne. And mix it all up. It seems to me that the noodles will absorb all the liquid and nothing will come out of it. It won't become solid. What do you think? Write below in the comments. Our next batch will be made of cement, of course, dog food, salt and shampoo. I'll take the remaining food from my cats. Maybe they'll eat it. Instead of sand, we'll pour salt. Well, why not? The shampoo is similar in consistency to non-thick jelly. I remember taking a bath with some kind of shampoo. It was a nightmare. After that, I couldn't wash myself and my skin was very dry. It was terrible. In the second half of the video, we'll test all these motors for strength and try to break them with a hammer. While well, crushed stone is not always added to the motor, it's not added to the finishing layer, therefore our next batch will be without it. In this recipe for our sand, I mean in our case the flour, there will be 5 parts. But what if the motor is baked in the oven? Write in the comments what may happen. Now we'll knead it all like dough. It's a concrete dog. Well, I haven't made such a model before. By the way, it really can be used for construction. Tomorrow, Sergei will freeze in his apartment because all the windows will be open. By tomorrow morning, these eggs will smell worse than the toilet of my cats. Why wouldn't I agree to this adventure? Look, from the antiseptic, the protein folds, because protein contracts in alcohol. Alcohol is harmful, so drink non-alcoholic champagne. Maybe the eggs won't stink because of it. Well, it turns out if the egg is curdled in alcohol, then does it mean that it's ready? Is it cooked? Next, we add the cement. I wonder what it will be like if we fried it in a pan. Would you like to buy a new frying pan? Let's check it on the old one. If the viewers want and hit the thumbs up, then next time we can try it. And then add rice here. Turns out beautifully. And the last motor will be of ketchup, the remaining jelly and cement. And now in the comments, place your bets which motor will be the strongest and which will be the weakest. I think that the strongest will be the one with ketchup and the weakest probably will be with the dog food. Now with the snap of my finger, it will be three days.
So three days have passed and now we can test our motors for strength. Let's start in the same sequence as we made them. In order to test this strength, we took an axe and now we'll smash our concrete with it. At least we'll try to do that. So let me remind you what we made them with. With peas, noodles, dog food, flour, rice and ketchup. Now we'll check which is the strongest. To begin with, we decided to test the strength simply by dropping it on the paving stones. One, two, three, go! Wow, so fast. And I thought it would be the most durable one. Maybe it's better with rice, although we added jelly to the rice, right? So... That's it. The strongest motor, in our opinion, crumbled like peace. So now let's check the most unexpected lot. We thought differently about this motor. We thought that the noodles would absorb the liquid, plus there is jelly, which could be incomprehensible and strange in consistency. As a result, nothing happened to it. What it was, it remained like that. It would be very interesting to make a house out of this. Now we'll check how reliable and durable the house would be from it. Go for it! It looks quite durable. Oh, no. It cushions. After all, the noodles inside are saturated with liquid, so inside it's viscous, I think. So it's also a bad option. Well, now let's try the lot number three. We thought it would be the weakest motor, so we'll check it now. Here we've got dog food, and when we were kneading it, it swelled up and was crumbly. <laughs> In my opinion, you don't even need to test anything, here is everything clear. Yeah, that's it. And now the most interesting lot. This is our cement slime, because there was flour, motor, and it was like dough, you saw that. This motor has the most unpredictable result. Now let's see what came of it. I don't know what will happen to it if you just smash it with an axe, but if you just drop it, I'm sure it won't break. Maybe a piece will break off, but in general it will remain the same shape. Drop it. Damn! So we have two lots left, with rice and with ketchup. Let's check which of these two is stronger. Let's bump them against into each other. Come on! You can kill with this one! Wow! Look! So the strongest concrete we've made is the concrete from cement, ketchup and eggs. Well that's all for today guys, if you liked the video then hit the thumbs up and write us what other experiments you want us to do. Also don't forget to subscribe to the channel, see you next Sunday. Blah, blah.